My name is Brad Hill. I'm the designer of the Little RP. When I designed the Little RP, I was looking for a printer that was a resin printer that was affordable, something that I could afford on my own. Uh, there are a number of resin printer kits available, but uh, they sort of in the price range that uh, is a little out of touch for me. And I think that there's a lot of individuals uh, like myself who are either looking for a standardized kit, uh, something that they can purchase all of the materials and documentation that they need uh, to get a resin printer going uh, whereas either they don't have the expertise or maybe they don't have the time um, much like RepRap printers sort of really took off once you sort of had it in some of the standardized models and configurations uh, that's sort of my hope with a little RP uh, I think it fulfills a number of goals uh, first first of uh, all being affordability the kit itself is fairly inexpensive but also the consumables are fairly uh, cost-effective, uh, such as the uh, the VAT cost, VAT coating cost, uh, the amount of resin it uses, the types of resins it can use, uh, are something that uh, I think I think you'll find are, are probably some of the most affordable of all resin printers. Um, the other thing I wanted it to be was flexible. So, if you were self-sourcing the kit, you could choose from a variety of linear slide options. You could choose from a variety of projector options. You could select. Um, you know a number of resin options so it, it's really up to you uh, the design files are open too uh, so if you want to modify the printer for your own needs um, in addition I plan on offering a number of uh, upgrade kits the first of, uh, of which is a tilt option uh, by tilting it sort of will expand the uh, the build area available um, the basic kit by itself the non tilting kit uh, is excellent choice for uh, high detailed uh, small models such as jewelry, 28 millimeter miniatures, uh, and is suitable for direct casting and mold making. Um, I wanted the printer to be open and flexible in the sense that um, I'm not going to have proprietary resin mixtures. I don't uh, won't be selling my own resin. Um, we're basically are working with third party manufacturers to make uh, the little RP not only work with their resins but provide uh, standardized configurations for our end users to use so they don't have to sort of troubleshoot different resins themselves. Uh, 